All right, so let's have a quick game of Mobile Legends. What's this? Hang on. Mm -hmm. uh, please charge your device first before you start playing. Battery low, it may induce AFK during match, affecting your teammates' game experience and causing a credit score deduction as well as a ban on matchmaking. That's interesting. Hmm, I feel like I'm being treated as a child here. When was my battery not good enough for the game? Honestly, I like the idea that they have, but preventing me from playing just doesn't seem to make my day. So how's about this for game experience? Looks just about right. Perfect. Welcome to Mobile Legends True Hero Spotlight, featuring Balmond, the Orc Wardor. What's your name, boy? Balmond, Balmond, Balmond. I take a lot of time looking into the characters when I try to do these videos and let me tell you, the story of Balmond is pretty long. Um, just to sum it up, Balmond becomes Alice's boy. Wait, excuse me? What? Balmond's viable once again? People are actually picking Balmond again? Pick rate of 48.4%. NANI?! Finally, Moonton finally decided to buff this guy once again. You know what that feels like? Feels like receiving a free subscription for the rest of your life from a certain website. Balmond's passive is Bloodthirst. Basically, Balmond recovers 5% of his max HP upon a minion or creep kill and 20% upon an enemy hero kill. There's not really much to it, just kill an enemy minion, creep or hero and you get uh, recovered health back. This passive helps you sustain early in-game, but it really works wonders once you have Bloodlust Axe, uh, which is really helpful late game. So Bauman's first skill is Solok. Um, there isn't that much to it. It's basically a dash, but you get damage as you dash. Good to initiate a fight or to run away. Um, I guess the only good thing about it is you get a slow and a knockback if you hit the enemy target. His second skill is Cyclone Sweep. Basically, he turns himself into a Beyblade. He brandishes his large axe and continuously deals 50 damage, uh, plus 50% total physical attack points of physical damage to nearby enemies for 3 seconds. Now, each time the skill deals damage, the skill will increase its damage by 25%, with a maximum damage increase of 100% on enemy heroes. Bauman can hit enemies for up to 7 times with the skill and deal up to 375 physical damage, plus 375% total physical attack. Now if you do have critical chance, it will stack up during that duration of the skill and it will also increase as it goes on. Balmond's ultimate is lethal counter. Balmond pretends to be Thor, slams his axe on the ground and deals 300 damage plus 100% total physical attack plus 20% of the target's lost HP points of true damage to enemies in a fan-shaped area and slows them by 60% for 2 seconds. I genuinely enjoy this ultimate because of the sound it makes. Oh, and did you know that Bauman's also known as Bauman BBC, which stands for Bauman's Basketball Court? Yeah, feel me? Sun! So yeah, that's it. That's that's Bauman for you guys. He is one of the very first heroes that was ever released into the game when Mobile Legends actually started. He was with that team. He was your starter pack, you know, and he hasn't changed that much. I guess appearance wise, he's changed and maybe the way that they buffed and nerfed him throughout his entire life. I mean, this guy looks like he went through puberty, became an adult, went through his midlife crisis figured it out, and now he's back on track. I don't know what Moonton has in stores for this guys, but, you know, hopefully they still work with him, eventually revamp him, I guess, because that's what they're doing to a lot of the other characters. Have you seen Next? Project Next, by the way, adding quotation mark, Project Next, where they supposedly revamp the characters, but they're only doing that because no one's ever actually using them. Bruh. So yeah, anyway, let's, let's forget about that and go back to Bauman, because he is, after all, the hero spotlight that we're talking about. So, yeah, I mean, right now with the current buff that he has um, and the changes that they made to him, he's pretty much like how he was when he was initially released. Now, when I say he is pretty much how he was, doesn't mean that stat for stat, it's the same. I mean that he's playable once again and he's incredibly fun to use. I think that's what we should take away from the game, the word itself, fun. 
you know, like how they brought Bauman back to his glory days, he's once again very much fun to use. Don't be that toxic motherfucker who ruins the game for everyone just because they think they know how to play the game, you little toxic. Now like and subscribe, because Bauman did.